and welcome everybody to Carlisle Import Performance Nationals here at the uh, the fairground on uh, a rather partly cloudy uh, day here. Okay, uh, let's uh, make it up here to uh, Pavilion A and uh, Pavilion B to see what's uh, what's going on up here. Coming in. when I was racing to try to take all the weight out of it I could. I've seen this thing where they take the air duster or whatever and they like grease it and tap on the hand.
Out. There's a black PR4 for sale. Triumph. 1963. Oh, they have a price on it that I see. No, no price. I see a telephone number. Nice Triumph. Uh, PR4. Here are six to nineteen seventy three for uh, eighteen hundred. Fifty dollars on the telescopic ladders. I got them all the way to twenty feet. There's a 
lot of uh, Lots of great ports here. On throughout the we'll make our way today. around. Uh, looks like we're in the Dodson section here. I'm all shined up on this uh, partly cloudy day. This one here. The rear spoiler. Three seventy Z. Nice cars. Hey, let's go up uh, here to building Y. It's the uh, featured vehicle display. These out. It's a 1978 uh, Keeper 10-36. That's got a Chevy V8 in it. Yeah. It is very low. Well. Another arrow here. And, uh, I like how this thing's just straight up powered by its like, 1997 to 44. Yeah, I think I'm saying it right. Eighty-four, thirteen, ten, Z, T, L. Here's the Renault. This is the nineteen eighty-four Renault Alpine. 310 GT. What tire the other side. 1990 uh, Yugo. Cabrio. Nice, uh, nice paint job on that. Yeah. Like the 1984 Triumph. Cardium.
check out this bulb over here. show life and I make custom show boards but my show boards are different than the ones you may see at other shows number one they're made out of a material called dye bond it's very weather resistant it's sturdy durable and can be custom cut we have four design levels we start off with basic one to three pictures of your ride with bullet point information the detailed design has more information more of a story behind your car more pictures documentation if you so uh, choose to do that the theme design can be a number of different things. It could be based on the car's name. This one is based off of a classic print ad for a 68 GTO that this guy got back after several years. This is 69, but the headline, Return of the Great One, it was the greatest car he ever owned. And we changed the ad copy to reflect the story of his ride. And then our top of the line is our render design. This is where we take a photograph of your car. We make it look like a hand-drawn concept drawing and we style it to the car. Here's the Stinger hood in the background for the 67 Stingray. We also have our car show clamp. That's how they're all attached to the table. This clamps in your engine bay, allows you to display your show board at eye level, away from spectators and away from wind knocking it over. But if you like a traditional stand, we have an air cleaner. We have a steering wheel. We also have a wheel cover. They have quick releases at the base and at the neck, so they break down rather quickly and stow very uh, very easily. But the best thing that I've come up with in the past year is our 3D layers. Now, this is our double layer premium. This is for perfect for somebody who's constantly adding modifications to their car. So if you change the running gear, you know, uh, do a cold air intake, uh, add headers, but you don't change the appearance, well, this pops off and can be updated for a fraction of your initial investment. So you pop that on. But let's say you do change the wheels, you add graphics, ground effects, lowering springs. Well, there you go. This can be reprinted for about $25. This is about 30 to 35, depending on the size. So for $60 or so, you've updated your show board and made it as customizable as your ride. Now you can find me at carshowlife.com and on social media, on Facebook and Instagram, at carshowlife, back in hood up. Thanks for watching.
this tram down here. I don't want to, I don't want to step in any mud. This is not for sale, it's uh, display only. The GT6. Nineteen sixty seven, uh trying PR six. It's coming up in about fifteen more minutes. The fiftieth anniversary of Carl Laments presentation will be happening on stage. We've got some amazing guests and speakers for this morning to talk about all the things that have happened in fifty years of car shows here at the event. invite everyone to come down to the grandstands and check this out. It will certainly be an event you'll like to be a part of, so come join us in the grandstands and check out the 50th anniversary presentation. Throughout the day today, the staff will be handing out 50th anniversary swag bags to some lucky participants. So be on the lookout for that. It is quite a bag full of goodies so it is be on the lookout for that if you get one congratulations ahead of time because it is quite hot lots of great activities going on throughout the day lots of great displays in the building definitely check out the print show display down at building Y. or parking vehicles not available in the u.s and also some unusual
anniversary presentation. So we invite everyone to come down and grab a seat in the grandstands. Show Life, we're here with the Car Show Cruiser that I have called Phantom. Now, this car's name comes from the term in the automotive world of a car that never existed but could have. For the sixth generation Camaro, Chevrolet never produced the SS car with the RS appearance package. They did so 67 to 69, 70 to 73, 2010 to 2015. But since most people in the fifth gen opted for an SS with the RS package that included the halo headlamps, red badges, smoke tail lamps, they put RS equipment on the 2SS. Well, I like the grill of the RS. So what I did was I had a speed shop in Ravenna, Ohio called Mongoose Motorsports, swap it out for an LT1 RS front end and then we made our Yenko livery a little more like the actual SVE cars by adding a fiberglass Ram air hood. So this is a car called Phantom. This is the Car Show Life Cruiser.
Let's check out these uh, Fiat's here. But the first one I come to is the, uh, the Fiat they, they bought. A 2017 Fiat 500 Cabrio Bro. Here's the, uh, the Fiat convertible version, the Fiat 500 pop convertible. 2017. There's another a bar. The 2012. This one out here, souped up for racing, this uh, Fiat 500. Check out the inside, it looks like it's an automatic too. Yeah, yeah, this thing handles crazy. Everything is pretty much a DNA racing suspension. That's a nice, uh, a nice uh, Fiat. Really nicely done. Hey, check out this uh, Fiat of Bar. Alright. Oh, yeah, down that way. Yep. And uh, we'll be here. Alright, yeah, that one. Nice What's your first name? I'm Mike. I'm Mike. And another of Bar. Looks like a spray one here is the uh, a Bar uh, convertible. And then we have another. Uh, the other bar here is a, it's like a convertible the 500 the 2013 it's the same year that uh same year fiat pop as i have i have a gray one here's the uh a bar in the uh their CT model. Some other older Fiat here. The X19. Sad the guy died, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This might have been his chronic achievement. Nice. nice Fiat. <laughs> what do we have yeah, here? We'll make it till 5 o'clock. Stay in the for sure. It's good to see you. Absolutely. You got to come over. Yeah, absolutely. Thursday. Surely Friday. This is Chalmers Special. One or two of the years. This is a newer Fiat. I think that is That's right here. The 124 Spiders. The Fiat Spiders. Now we have another Fiat 500. It says keys are made here to the electric. Yep, this is a little electric uh, Fiat 500. I see it's getting all charged up there. Have a look at the inside of this. Uh, Fiat 500E, electric edition, nice bright orange. Don't see any gear on it. Uh, it's rather new, new with probably the uh, 2000 or so.
Poland about 20 years ago.
This image that young people work their phones faster, but come on, folks. She can do it. Who's it? Anybody else posting? That guy up there in the knit cap. She's posting too. I see three people feverishly posting. Okay, you're like, hey, I did it first. Good job, beard guy. All right, that guy's gonna get his swag back. That is the official end of our ceremony. We do have photos coming up. this uh, adventure here at the, uh, the Carlisle Imports and Performance National Yeah, because the, uh, yeah, everybody needs the bars. The Carlisle right? Fairground. Really, really nice. Nice car show. Uh, it was a little warmer and a little bit sunnier out, but uh, it is what it is. But it, uh, anyways, until next time, I will see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching. Bye now.
warm. Yes. Oh, we can put a